A week after the disputed election, Belarus is voting with its feet. The center of the capital, Minsk, taken over by hundreds of thousands of people. United in their demand that Alexander Lukashenko, the only president this country has ever known, leave office. Well, I really hope that when he sees all these people, uh, he will step down. You really think that's likely? Uh, He's been here a long time. Maybe it's... Uh, <laughs> I hope so. Do you think that this sort of demonstration is going to convince the president to go? Uh, yes, we believe. That's why we're all here, all means go our country. Belarus has never seen scenes like this before. A couple of weeks ago, demonstrations were extremely rare and they were usually brutally snuffed out by the government. Now there were people marching as far as the eye can see through the center of the capital, Minsk. There's a real sense of change in the air. But for now, President Lukashenko clings on to power. This was his rally today in Minsk. Just a few thousand showed up. An embarrassing turnout for a man who claims to have won 80% of the vote. In a defiant speech, he rejected calls for new elections, telling his supporters that NATO tanks were near the border. Leave, leave, they chant. But exactly how that happens is far from clear. Do you think that the president is going to go peacefully? I'm not sure about it, but we will not go away. Today, tomorrow, with, uh, next week, we will sit here on the streets. Yeah, and I, will, I would like to say that I was born in 1998, and I spent all my life with President Lukashenko, and I don't want it anymore. This was a day when Belarusians found their voice. Lukashenko, lock him up, they're saying here. Europe's longest serving leader may have passed the point of no return. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Minsk.